Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving, and welcome back. It's good to see you. My one word is heart, and I put my heart into everything I do. And I believe every time you shave with a straight razor, you're getting a better shave. This is the wonderful Wednesday Shave of the Day. We're going to be using my Frederick Herter & Son Ace of Spades. This is just a beautiful 15 16 blade. This has got 69 shaves on it. That is bone with inlay, and I haven't had to touch it up. 69 shaves tonight, all right? And we'll see how it goes. We're, we're going to keep riding this until it needs to be rehoned. Yep, so far so good. I just put 60 laps on that Imperial LaRocca blue strop back there before I shave. 60 laps on the smooth leather, and it works fantastic. Yep. So now, for our soap tonight, here we go. We are using Barbus Classic. This has been around since 1956. And again, it just works. This good stuff, it has a clean, fresh scent, a little citrusy in there. Really good. I like it. Now, I have had that puck blooming, and we're going to pour off that bloom water and put it on this pre-shave. Yep. So, we're going to just go ahead and do that. Just work that in to those whiskers. Prep in that beard for a good straight razor shave. Just like that. Now, get those hands dried off for my brush tonight. There you go. This is the Connecticut Quarter Brush. Yep. This is a 22 millimeter Maggard Razor Synthetic Knot. I built this myself, buried that knot in there pretty good. Since it is a synthetic, it's a splash and go. You don't really need to soak synthetics. So I just get it wet, and we're going to get not that much water out of it. There's still water in there. And let's load up that brush. Yeah, all right. So welcome to the Midweek Shave. Wonderful Wednesday Shave of the Day. Hump Day. Oh, yeah. Life is good. Yes, it is. Weekend's right around the corner. Looking forward to that. Yep. Yep. So hopefully wherever you are, you are in high spirits. The world is treating you good, and you're getting some good shaves. I hope so. Yep. Now, here we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, buddy. That's looking good. Now, I think we are probably got enough soap. I do. So we're going to get that around the outside just like that. I'm going to put it in there, and I'm going to get the inside of that, just like that, as well. And here we go. Put that in my Crown King Travel Scuttle. This has got hot water in it. Here it's been cold, so we're just going to use this to build a lather. Yep. So hopefully, wherever you are, you're getting some good weather. Yeah, here we've had some really crazy cold weather, which is unseasonable for us. Okay, the kind of temperatures we've been having. Uh, but it's okay. It's all good. It will pass, right? This too will pass. So it'll be fine. And... Uh, like I say, hopefully where you are, you're having some decent weather. Yeah. Yep. And uh, getting some good shaves, maybe, huh? Yep. Yeah. So, I think we are looking really good on that soap. Yeah, we are. Look at that. That is nice. Okay. Oh, yeah, buddy. That's looking good. Okay, we're going to just work it a little bit more. 
just like that. And we're gonna say that's done. Yeah, it is. Hmm. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that good? Absolutely amazing. Yeah, this Barbus is really great shade soap. Does a fantastic job. And like I say, this one, kind of a citrusy, fresh scent, which I really do like. So that's good. Now we're going to just put a little more water in that. See if we can get it a little more hydrated. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's starting to look pretty good right there. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, buddy. Now let's get that soap off of our hands. Yep. All right. Now, here we go. This is pass one. And for me, primarily, that's going to be with the grain. Except on each side of my neck and there, it's going to be across the grain, just the way my hair grows. Lay that razor flat, raise it about a spine width. We're looking for that 20 to 30 degree shaving angle. Nice. That blade is still shaving very well. Yeah, it is. Now, let's get this section. Like that. There we go. Yeah, oh, that is nice. Yep. Yeah, now this razor is, uh, like I say, got 69 shaves tonight on it and still going strong. And that was only with one home. So I haven't done anything with it except strop it on the smooth leather. Mm hmm. Yeah, I don't know, but this is just got fantastic steel and it is the right size for me. This is 15 sixteenths, which I 
like them a little bigger. So for me, that works out really well. Mm -hmm. Yep. So good steel. I honed it up and finished it on a Imperial LaRocca premium ultra fine hone. Really good. They're nice, give a good edge, and it's really a good price. So, you know, check that out. There is a link down in the description where you can find uh, all things Imperial LaRocca. So you can check that out. Now, let's get this side, laying that razor flat, raise it about a spine width. There we go. Nice. Yep. Yep. Now we're going to get this section always stretching. Remember, you don't have to overstretch. But you do need to stretch, especially if you're an older gentleman. So you can uh, get a nice flat surface to shave. Yeah, that's really all we're trying to do. You don't want to really tighten up that skin because that'll give you ingrown hairs. Just flatten it out where it's easy to shave. Mm-hmm. There you go. Pass one complete. Felt good. Yeah, it did. Yep. Yeah, whenever you, you know, let your beard grow the day or two longer than normal, it always seems to feel good. Yep. Oh, nice. And we're just going to work that lather just a little bit, freshen it up. Yep. Sitting in this Crown King Travel Scuttle with hot water. Yep. And this is the Unbreakable Travel Scuttle. Yep. So it is good. It is. Yeah, you can travel with that and uh, have nice warm lather all winter, no matter where you are. Yep. And if it's summertime, you can put cold water in that and have a nice refreshing shave. Mm-hmm. Which is good. There we go. Nice. All right. Now, this is pass two. And for me, primarily, that is going to be against the grain. 
Now, while we're talking about shaving, find the right time to shave as well. You don't want to shave with a straight razor in a hurry. You want to take your time, relax, enjoy it. All right, here we go. Let's do this. There we go. Yeah, for me, I have the most time and I'm the most relaxed in the evening. So that's what works for me. How about you? Let me know down in the comments. When do you shave and why? Is it the most relaxing time you have? Are you forced kind of to do it? Or is it just a choice that you made and it's a good time for you to shave. Let us know down in the comments. There we go. Nice. Yeah, I always recommend you finding the right time to straight razor shave because this does take more time than any other way of shaving. but it's also more rewarding than any other way I've shaved. So this for me is just marvelous and I can relax, enjoy myself when I need to really concentrate on something that helps me relax as well. Yeah. There we go. Nice. There's those two bumps. Always want to find those bumps so you won't hit them. Yep. Yeah, you're looking at for light pressure when you're shaving. You want to be able to hold that blade onto your face, but don't press in. Yeah, you should be able to shave with a sharp straight razor and you shouldn't have to press in at all yeah just it should just glide through your whiskers
There we go. Nice. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Pass two complete. Let's see how we did. All right. This should be good. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm telling you, cheeks are brilliant right where they are. And look at that soap. Look at that. It's just coming right back to life just by putting water on it. Yeah. Oh, that's great, right? And it's slick. If you needed to do pickups or anything, this would be fine. It would allow you nice slick surface to shave. Yep. All right, here we go. Just gonna mix that up a little bit more and get that out of there. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, nice. Yeah, buddy. Mm. Yeah, perfect. We're going to stop right there. There's that bump. Got to find that. And... Gonna want dry hands. Here we go. Time for the half pass. For me, primarily, that's gonna be against the grain on my jawline and my neck. A little unconventional, works really well for me though. So you could always try it if you want. Here we go. Nice. Yep. Looking good. Now we're switching hands. We're going to do this other side exactly the same way. There we go. There you go. Another shave in the books. Yep. Let's see how we did. Yep. I think we're going to be all right, though. I do. Yeah, cheeks, of course, were good before the half pass. Oh, excellent. Excellent. And again, that barbus just comes back to life when you get it wet. It, it's amazing. It really is. And nice, clean, fresh scent. A little citrus in there, which I like, of course. 
Now, here we go. We are going alum everywhere. This is astringent and antiseptic. It will take care of those little bumps if you hit them. In this shave, there were no bumps harmed in the filming of this shave video. Yep, so that's good. There we go. Now, I am going to just dry that off. Just like that. Yeah, oh, good shave. Now, if you can't take alum straight up, go with the cold water rinse, followed by witch hazel. In my case, I'm going with the Thayer's Lemon Witch Hazel. This is going to go really well with the soap, and it's going to do a fine job. Yes, it is. It's going to help start repairing that skin. Oh, nice. Fantastic scent. I will put that everywhere as well, just like that. Really good. Now, here we go. Nivea, and this is the sensitive poche bomb. Excellent, excellent stuff. Get the moisture back in that skin. Always good. Yeah, we're just gonna put that like that. Oh yeah, buddy. That is nice. And now we're gonna follow this up with Panad Clubman, and this is the green original. Yep, so this is quite nice. Yes, it is. Oh. Nice, 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 just like that. Excellent. Hmm. Click up here to see my latest video. Click over here to see a video specially picked out for you. Click on this one to see how to start straight razor shaving this series. Have a great shave and a good day. I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving. Life is good.